Hey guys, in this video I'm going to demonstrate an RC high pass filter, how it's built and what you can expect to see um, on the oscilloscope of the output signal from the RC high pass filter. So this is the diagram of the RC high pass filter. We have a capacitor going across and a resistor in this setup. So all we need is a single capacitor and resistor. And um, for this circuit, I've used a 10 nanofarad capacitor and a 1K ohm resistor. And this is the formula for calculating the 3 dB cutoff point of the high pass filter. So inputting the um, 10 nanofarad capacitor and the 1K ohm resistor into this formula, you get a 3 dB cutoff point of around 15.9 um, kHz. And this is the characteristics curve um, of a high pass filter. Um, it blocks low frequencies. And, you know, after a certain point is reached, it starts passing the signals with a much higher gain. And then if the frequency is high enough, it passes it with full um, gain. So at this point, there's, a, there's attenuation. The farther you get away, the lower you get, the more attenuation. Once you reach a 3 dB cutoff point, the signal is only 3 dB lower than the, um, than the peak amplitude signal that you'll, ex that you'll see later on. And if you think of 3 dB, that's around 0 0.7 volts of the peak amplitude. That's what 3 dB represents. So, um, so now let's go to the circuit. You can see the on the circuit the 10 nanofarad capacitor and the 1K resistor. And right now, this is the sine wave and this the on the oscilloscope, this is the function generator. Right now I have the function generator set to um, around 40 K Hertz. And this is a sine wave, as you can see on the oscilloscope. And this is the signal at 40 K Hertz. So remember the 3 dB cutoff point was 15, around 15.9 K Hertz. And now we're at 40. So this is the signal basically at peak amplitude. So now you're gonna see what happens when I decrease um, the frequency of the signal. So Okay, let me just adjust this. Okay, so as I keep decreasing, let me just adjust this so you can see. And you can see what happens. Now we're at 5K Hertz, and you can see how much it's declined. So if I go back, you can see there 12K Hertz, 21, you can see how it's increased. Now if I go back down, You can see now we're at 7K Hertz. You can see how much it's decreased. And so we're at 5K Hertz. And now as I go lower to 2K Hertz, you can see the signal has shrinked a lot. Let me go back down. I mean, you can't even see it anymore, really. So let me uh, adjust this. And then now if I go back down again, so you can see it's practically nothing at this frequency you can't even see anything so this is how a high pass filter works it passes through high frequencies so if I go back up again you can see this is what it passes through and as the frequency decreases again you can see it goes to almost nothing and now we're way, way below the 3 dB cutoff point. So it's practically, um, it's attenuated so much that it's practically nothing on the output. So this is how a, a high pass filter works, specifically this RC high pass filter. So it passes through high frequency signals. Low, fre low frequency signals are greatly attenuated. And as you, the lower you get, the more it's attenuated. So this is just demonstrating a RC high pass filter.